How many of those do we have, boys? 117. 117. Not seen these before, Le. They're called pop badges. Some are badges. Some are circles. You get them from like different theme parks. You might have a lanyard with a little plastic clip on and then these go on the end of it. 117. Two quid they were. I'll make a nice bundle, won't it? Is that one working, boys? Yeah. I'll show you. We have to hit them on the head. And then the head cracks. There's a new one for me. It's called Aikido. You get this, like, battle stadium, clipping all the different figures into that, and just fight away. We do need to put some batteries in there to make sure it works. That tub there with different figures in, five quid. What do you want to be when you grow up? And a person that makes comics. Person that makes comics. Do you want to know what I wanted to be, boys, when I was your age? No. I wanted to run a toy shop. That's actually the truth. I remember saying that back in school to the teacher and having that look back of, oh, that's cute, but what do you really want to be? So I followed through school, university, got a career. But alongside that full-time career, being able to sell toys on eBay, I'm kind of living that out. What else we got to test, boys? Check this out. You found this, didn't you, today? We went to the charity shop after football and you were rummaging through the 50p box. Tamagotchi Uni. Never heard of this before, you? No, never. No, same. Back in the day, right, whenever I used to have one of these, these were batteries in there. This one now, USB charged. Looks like it works. We'll have to give that a fair test. Good spot for 50p. Down here, we've been sorting out some monster trucks. These come out the little basket in the charity shop as well. They were like three for a pound or something. Oh, look, there's my old Game Boy down there. I picked this up in the week, Tomb Raider. Giving that a play. Were all those Connect Four pieces there, guys? No. No? What are we missing? Yeah, true. Looks like we're missing one red piece. Okay, well, actually, we do come across this board game fairly regularly, so I'll have to remember that. <laughs> nice. So it's autumn time. Weather's getting a little bit miserable. This is what our Saturday afternoon start to look like. What we do is we do football in the morning, hit a few charity shops on the way back. Saturday afternoon, we're testing the stuff we find, we're sorting out the stuff we find. I can then stick it on eBay, see how much we can sell it for. That's if we don't end up keeping half of it. <laughs> Show us some of the other bits you found. Yes. Ben 10 watch. Ben 10 Omnitrix. I found one of these a couple of weeks ago, like one of the old ones. It was from 2008, I think, or 2007, mid 2000s anyway. This one here is from 2011. Need to put some batteries in to test it. Two quid, I'm happy with that. These have been selling like crazy. Transformers Rescue Bots. I need to put a bit of time this afternoon to put these into bundles. Most of these I had up in my loft. At one point I was collecting them, but you know, it got to the point I was collecting them for the sake of them. Yes, they're Transformers, I love Transformers, but I just can't collect everything Transformers. So these are bundling well, they're selling pretty well. Let's actually shout out Gary, he picked up three from me just gone. That's a job print a bit. Oh, I've got a shout out Jamie from Sully's Vintage. He dropped me a message on Instagram to say there were some Transformers in one of the local charity shop. Popped along there. I think most of them are gone, but I've managed to get this one. Generation Skybite. I don't know why this one had been left. I mean, to be fair, it is quite a hard one to check if it's all complete. But in the shop, I looked up some photos and this one does look complete apart from the missile in there. That one only cost a pound fifty. And I also picked up some little mini yeah. transformers here. These are only a pound fifty for the whole bag. I've got a fair few of these out in my garage actually. Could probably do a bundling them up and moving them on too. No jelly cats today, jelly cat guy? No. You did have a good find though. Yeah. 
Yeah. Show us then. Show us it. This was your 50p special today. It's a yeah, boy. Bakugan spider. Look at that. One of these sold in America recently for 30 pounds. So it means everyone now is listing this up for 30 pounds, hoping theirs will too. But that was the only one to have sold. There's been no other solds. So what that tells me is that is kind of like a freak sale. 50p we paid for that. Would you be happy if we got 10 pounds for it? Yeah, I think so. If we can get 10 pounds for that, we'll put that towards the jelly cap. Yeah. Deal? Deal. Pinky promise. Pinky <laughs> promise. Absolute bad living here, but that's what you get when you're cheap toy testers of kids. And while we were in the charity shop, I always have a look around the other sections just to see what's about. Christmas jumper season, in it. Not everyone wants to wear the kind of novelty way out ones. That would pass as a jumper, wouldn't it, surely? Snowflakes on. It's by Jaeger. That costs three quid, size large. Very seasonal. Got to get that listed quick. This felt like a pretty solid deal. Look, Laura Ashley, two quid. UK 12. Nice burgundy jacket there, look at that. Two quid. Can't go wrong, can you really? I had this pair of black suede Adidas Gazelles. UK size four, they're only four quid. Absolute classic. It's not the first time I've picked this one up. Maui hook, pound 50 on there. Thing is, you see that little bit at the top? It's been chewed in there. Someone's had their teeth around that and had a good gnaw. Tested, working. Bit of a rattle, you know, you're never gonna get a top price for that. Still more than pound 50. Always on the lookout for CEX credit. I love picking up games like this. I can trade them into CEX, pick up a game I want for my collection, or just wait until I've got enough of these together, trade them all in for one game. That's only one sale needed on eBay. This one to look out for, London 2012 on Xbox 360. 12 quid trading. Hey, Yo. Yeah. So that's tested and working. Oh boy, you forgot to show us this. Another 50p box special. Transformers Roadbuster. Thing is just covered in like glue. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of maintenance on that, clean it up. No weapons with it. But I don't have this one. I like the mold, nice face on it. Nice ratchets on it. So that's everything fully tested, fully working. The boys are in there now doing their spelling and their reading. I know it's not a brick and mortar toy shop. It's not the same thing, but it's a flavor, isn't it? I'm experiencing the positives of what owning that shop could be. And of course it's time and moments that I'm sharing with my boys. But now I've got to tidy up all of this mess before pizza and film night. Okay, do you want to go test? Angry Birds.